What's going on, everybody? We have a latest Kindle update here. So we have 5.18.4.0.1, and outside of the global font thing that we'll touch on very briefly a little bit later on, the biggest thing is TTS during a book. So we have a pre-update 5.18.3 here connected to this Bluetooth speaker off camera here that's plugged in and charging, just so you guys can hear what is going on. We're going to let you hear how the TTS sounds really reading a book before the update and then after the update when it is more refined. Let's kick it off. So as you can probably hear here when we tap things. Close, by close. Search, button. Double 256 battery 28, 256 battery 28 percent. So what that is is accessibility mode so every time you tap the screen for people that are visually impaired it will help guide you where you are on the screen if I click the more button at the bottom it's probably gonna say more and then it'll say double tap well there you go double tap to select so you would then go like this and then you go to the more so we're going to open up a book and we're gonna activate the TTS and see how it sounds reading with the stock accessibility. Swipe down into the right with one finger to begin reading. Double tap and why? Double why do you call me that? You just answered your own question. Huh? I asked thoroughly confused. Well, if I asked you to stop, would you? No. I slouch into the seat and cross my arms over my chest. Fine, Marty. Will rolls her eyes. In the moonlight, they're still bright. So although, as you could hear, it is very nice that Amazon has this accessibility feature in line, it sounds horrible. It doesn't sound good at all. It's paced very unnaturally. The whole thing is robotic, and that comes with the territory because it's just supposed to guide you. But that is apparently rectified in the most latest update. So we're going to disconnect this and connect this to this. Now over to the Kindle 12th generation. First things first, where is it? Because it's not in any of the settings or the settings itself. What you actually have to do is click the font, go over to more if you aren't on it already, assistive reader you need to highlight. From there at the bottom you will see it say assistive reader. A hundred yards ahead, in a little swale that had decent topsoil, was his third patch of corn, barely three acres but still worth the growing. The scarecrow stood just in the middle of it, but someone had changed the clothes. So all things considered, is it a night and day difference? It's a lot better, but it's not quite like those social media Instagram reels where you hear the AI voice. It, it still lacks a little bit of authenticity, of course, because, well, it's a robot, of course, so it won't be authentic. But, you know, we're getting close in the world of AI. But all things considered, it's not awful, but it is far more refined. The pacing is much nicer the joining of two words messed with becomes messed with you know it, it becomes a little bit more natural spun into there so in that regard it's not awful and it is better than the previous version so update your kindle if you haven't already it's very easy you can do it automatically on the device itself by clicking update or if you just leave your unit on in fact we were going to do a comparison against the ColorSoft, but it automatically updated just sitting in our tables here because it was on standby. The next thing is the extra large font mode we have to look at. You will find this in the settings under accessibility, display and text size. And now when you click here, everything is blown up. It is significantly larger. And this is very nice because especially it looks a little wonky, but for people that are visually impaired that just need a little bit of a boost, it is nice to have everything stretched and expanded a little bit. It might look strange on something that doesn't have a whole lot of screen real estate, but it does help. In fact, this is almost a screen we've never seen before because it's never quite had to look like this, but it's actually pretty nice. And you know what? This is the first time the drop down has had a scroller bar because We've never had to had a scroller bar. We never had a need for it before. Oh, and look at that. The screen reader volume now has a volume control. That's really cool. I didn't notice that. So it's really nice to have that. And when we go here, we can go to settings. Wow, this all looks really good, actually. You know, it, it looks pretty crisp and clear. It does backdate it a little bit. It doesn't look as refined and kind of pencil line thin how 
there is a theme of that going around the industry lately, and this looks very blocky, kind of something you would see something out of 2007. But again, it's for accessibility solutions and isn't something you would go to on a daily basis unless you actually needed it. These are the changes to the latest possible Kindle update. We will allude to it one more time. We will go to settings, click the two dots, go to device info, and you can see here in the largest possible font, 5.18.4.0. Point one. It's about a 350 MB download, so you can just wait for it to be downloaded or go over to the Amazon website where it will be hosted for free. Hope that helps.